In a true battle of David versus Goliath, the state of North Dakota, actually citizens from the state of North Dakota, have just defeated communist China. Welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Excited to be with you and share this great report with you. These grassroots citizens of North Dakota have not only stopped a company with strong ties and direct ties to the Chinese Communist Party from building a facility only 12 miles from a major United States Air Force base, but their pressure has also spawned a bill in the North Dakota State Legislature that would bar foreign governments from buying egg land in North Dakota ever. Out of the Fargo Forum, Rob Port wrote, The Department of the Air Force has finally provided some clarity to a long-simmering controversy over a wet corn milling project to be built in Grand Forks. Now, that seems innocuous, right? Just a wet corn milling plant. It's North Dakota corn. For those of you just catching up, the company behind the project is Fufang, which is based in China and whose corporate leadership has ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Local officials up to and including Governor Doug Burgum have justifiably been supportive of the project because on paper, the facility would be an economic boon to Grand Forks and the entire region. But the project's ties to China are what is so problematic. As more information about this nefarious project came to light, local citizens got engaged in a fierce debate and had no answer from the government. A review of the project by the Federal Government's Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States was about as unhelpful as it could be. After months of dithering, CFIUS concluded they didn't have jurisdiction to render an opinion. But because the citizens got so alarmed by it, they could reached out to the U.S. Senators John Hoven and Kevin Kramer, who took time to meet with the Air Force officials. And finally, they were able to wrestle an answer out of the Department of the Air Force from Andrew Hunter, who wrote to them, who wrote back to them saying, while CFIUS concluded that it did not have jurisdiction, the department's view is unambiguous. The proposed project presents a significant threat to national security with both near and long-term risks of significant impacts to our operations in this area. So listen to this response from Grand Forks Mayor Brandon Bachensky. He's blocked the project. He's effectively blocking the project. But he said the federal government has requested the city's help in stopping the project as geopolitical tensions have greatly increased since the initial announcement of the project. And then we had that statement from the Air Force about an impending war with China. The only remedies the city has to meet this directive is to refuse to connect industrial infrastructure and deny building permits. So they are doing that. But it gets better because now, following the Fufeng uproar, a bill that would bar foreign governments from buying eggland in North Dakota has been introduced. This out of the Fargo Forum again. Representative Larry Clemon, Republican of Bismarck, the lead sponsor of House Bill 1135, said he decided to sponsor the bill after several constituents raised concerns. This bill would take all egg land and say that foreign government interests cannot buy it. They cannot have controlling interests in that egg land. This is a huge win brought to you by the people of North Dakota. And I want to thank my listener, Sarah, who got this story to me to get out to you folks, because this is awesome. And I also want to mention that my pillow 2.0 is out. That's right. Mike Lindell has come out with a new pillow with cooling technology. It's going to be awesome. I just ordered a couple. You can get some with promo code Lumberjack. Buy one, get one free right now over at MyPillow.com. Peace out.